Recording in progress. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. I am Shubhu Sarkar from the Bangalore Sheikh Mujibur Rahman Aviation and Aerospace University, Bangladesh, first base in aerospace engineering student. Today I am gonna see you our presentation on NASA Space Air Surveillance 2021. So now I'm showing our presentation. So in this, we can see in the first place, the attention and authenticity. So we are the students of Bangladesh uh, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman Aviation and Aerospace University. We are the first place in aerospace engineering in our university. And being an aerospace engineering student, we have a great interest in aeronautics and astronautics. And by this, we have great hunger to gain more and more knowledge about space science. And this hunger of gaining more and more knowledge make our team more special. As our country is a developing country, so we can progress more in aviation sector in upcoming years by our great contribution in this sector. As we are the first base in our university, so we all have a great passion in this sector for this, we all coming in these sectors. And behind the screen, we have a lot of obstacles, but from our confidence mind, we are sure that one day we can conquer the best of best position in global arena. By thinking more about our country and country people, we have decided to make a project on identifying risks with science and communities. So in this view, we can see that our app is defining about the identifying risks with science and communities. Then further, we got that uh, create empathy for the problem. So now we can see that our project is identifying risks with science and communities. And as our country, Bangladesh is a developing country, it has faced various kinds of natural disasters every year, such as cyclones, floods, etc. So our landslides often interfere with the uh, economic development of rural communities. Our challenge is to develop a tool that uses data from NASA satellites and ground-based sources to determine the risks of landslides in rural communities and governments. In the year of 2020, Cyclone Alphand and Monsoon flooding had collided to create complex crisis, which was further deteriorated with capricious climatic behavior, repeated heavy rain, tidal surge, and floods. The cyclone affected 10 million people from 19 coastal districts in Bangladesh, of which nine were severely impacted. The government undertook a massive evacuation of 2.4 million people in 12,078 cyclone shelters and 26 people died. So in this view, we can see the what is the importance of this kind of app for our country. Uh, then in explain our innovation, this app is worked with a tool that uses data from NASA satellites and ground-based sources to determine the risks of lenses in rural communities and governments. So the whole plan is to integrate a control. First is analysis and assessment activities. And the second is management activities. In analysis, we get gather data this means gather cost schedule risks information then development project level cost performance then develop project level schedule performance and identify project level risk posture and trends then the integrate and analyze the data in this section we can got connect schedule to cost develop integrated cost and schedule performance and trends monitor integrated cost and schedule performance then determine data correlation and causal relationships. And last of all, identify project drivers and sensitivities. And then assessment and recommend actions. Identify project and external events, determine impacts, manage change the proposals, determine impacts, assess risks posture, determine impacts of remaining risks, then develop the integrated cost and schedule forecast. And last of all, effectively communicate all relevant information. Then this is all, all for analysis and SMA activities. Then the last is the management activities. In this section, we got implement action and monitor impact, then the output control phase. Implement section, we got adjust planes, replane as required, revise estimate at completion for request, then reassess as risk posture, monitor actions for control, support the project team in managing scope budget, schedule, risks, and resources. And the last, we got the 
assessment and results recommendation decision and action and as justice plain so by this we got our impact and our needs in this year of 2020 cyclone Ampern and monsoon flooding had collided to create complex crisis in our country and by this 2.4 million people have been affected and 26 people have been died and nine division were totally affected by nine districts were totally affected by the cyclone outcome. So if we could make this app with the app, we can easily get information about this kinds of disaster earlier. By this, we can take proper steps to minimize the after disaster effects. From the thinking of our country, we can easily understand the importance of this kind of app, which can save a lot of people's lives and save the economic condition of our country, and finally save our country. And by this app, we can got many, information earlier so we can take proper steps for saving our country from this kind of disasters and we can save our whole country and countrymen that's all and finally thank you for giving chance to sharing this kind of project presentation thank you sir